Welcome to another episode of Baby Bounce Back. This is week 43 of fitness training after having my fourth child. I have a spinal fracture and it's been an interesting journey. This is a picture of me last year when I was full term with the baby. Here's the full body shot so you can get the full magnitude of my situation. Right. This is a picture of full term, but my babies are usually late. I've had a baby go as late as 42 weeks before. I usually gain 50 pounds during the course of the pregnancy and usually 20 pounds of that drops off real fast. Um, the other 30 pounds take some effort, and this playlist has been documenting the loss of the last 30 pounds. You guys have seen me posting a video every week for months, and last week was the first week in months that I hadn't posted one. I was feeling very rebellious, and I didn't work out at all. And I uh, backslid a bit. I'm back to five pounds left to go. <laughs> I had dropped down to two. I got so close. And then I took a week off, which is okay, as long as it's uh, the rare occasion and not the normal thing that you do. So if you notice more of a sugar belly on me this week, that would be why. I was very rebellious last week and backslid into a lot of old habits. And I want to offer you some encouragement if you also find yourself falling into old habits. It is not a sign that that's where you belong. It's where you used to be. And maybe visiting that place mentally or spiritually is a way of looking back and seeing why you've decided to change. Not all change is made by our decision, by our own decision. Sometimes change just happens to us. But it doesn't have to be that way. You can make the choice to change. Maybe that's the difference between growing up and growing out. When you grow out of something, it's not your decision. You just grew out of it and you can't fit in that in that shell anymore. You, you're like a hermit crab who's grown out of it. You have to scurry with your soft little tail around to find a new one. Growing up is the choice. It's having the foresight as that said hermit crab to say, I'm going to grow out of this shell soon. I better find myself a good situation so that I can be safe and make this transition gracefully. It may not be a perfect analogy, but it's just a mental picture to help describe this backsliding issue. And it's my way of saying that last week I did visit a lot of old habits and I am reaffirming in myself this last weekend this week that I am making better decisions moving forward. Sometimes that can be easier said than done. How do we put our best foot forward and help ourselves be successful in these determinations and these decisions that we make for ourselves? First you think it, then you say it to yourself, and you say it out loud, and then maybe you say it out loud to another person, and maybe you write it down, and if you say it out loud to another person, that's giving you an accountability partner. This person then has permission to check up on you and say, hey, how'd that go? You, you mentioned that you were going to lose five pounds over the next two weeks, which is what I'm going to try to do. I'm announcing it to all of you right now. I want to lose five pounds over the next two weeks. I think I can do it. In fact, I know I can do it. The question is, will I actually do it? That's the test here, see? I've had my week of rebellious regression, and now I'm moving forward again. <laughs> I guess even the planets have a, re have a retro cycle, right? Isn't that right? It's called retrograde motion. So don't feel bad, but do move on. When you are actively growing and developing your character, you will find that there are a lot of things that you used to do that you don't, just don't do anymore. Changing and redirecting your daily habits has the most impact on your life, for the good or the bad. Growing up does seem to feel bittersweet. Like visiting an old place from when you were a child. You remember it being gigantic and you come back and everything looks so small. This was a place I used to come every day, but it doesn't fit me anymore. Growing up is having foresight to make transitions gracefully. And our greatest challenges in life are just opportunities to show ourselves our own mastery. We may not always be successful, but it's still worth the attempt. My Fridays are super long with homeschooling, so I did move my workout to Saturdays, and we did interval rowing on Saturday. I had about an average pull. Sometimes I can pull real strong, and I go uh, about a, a minute 55 is my split, and sometimes I pull real slow, and then I'm at, at 2.15, and today I was around 2.05, so it's my average day. Hello, baby. Yeah. Okay, fine. Oh, you want the phone? No, 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 no. You goober. No, no, no. Don't touch it. Okay, let me try the other side. Uh. 
Bir tane de evin aldım. I say congratulations and well done to any of you who are still watching this video. I will close with a few clips of the baby signing. We've been teaching him some sign language. We feel that that helps the toddlers have less frustration when it comes to communicating with their parents because signing is a lot easier to do than talking. So we teach our children American Sign Language and our youngest, he's less than a year old, can already do several signs and he loves it. We love it. Can you sign more? That's, that's please. please. <laughs> Yeah, that's please. Good job. More signing. More signing. More, 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 more. More signs. You like talking to us. You like signing to us. Good job, baby. Remember, keep moving.